there guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are at a agricultural show. Uh, we had the Altaiski Cry agricultural show so we thought we'd come have a look see what they have here and what's available to get. Yeah it's a big show it's a uh, it's quite away from where we live but it's uh, it's a really because this whole region is very agricultural based it's a big show much bigger than the one we've uh, been to in Nova Sibirsk. So we only just got here, so we're excited to see what they've got. With a crane. But no, well, I haven't seen a spot where I would use it, but if you had it, I guess you'd come up with uses. Oh, yeah, just loading. Hold the bags, all sorts of things. So, for all our potential farmers who want to move to Russia, uh, you can see they've got a huge range of equipment here. You won't be, uh, even with the sanctions and, and the blocking of some, uh, some companies because of the of the sanctions, you can see there's still a huge range of equipment here for all your farming needs. Lovell is really uh, pushing their market share, making the most of of the uh, obviously with the sanctions blocking some of the other big tractor producers. They're really coming in and, and picking up all the spots. Got a wide range. Big ones, even really small. Like hobby farm tractors. Yeah. There you go, it's your size. Oh, my size, yeah. Other side is easier. Tractors live about a like course, you normally get up from one side. Side saddle. Even my feet can reach the pedals, amazing. Feet can reach the pedals. That's impressive. <laughs> yep. Yeah. You can see they have a wide range of different haying equipment from hay balers to hay rakes. Over the other side here, hay cutters. All in a few different brands, so there's definitely still a lot available here. All right, Gormel Mush, which I presume is a uh, Belarusian company. Another Chinese manufacturer moving in on the market. Zoomillion, Zoom, Zoomalon, Zoomlion. It's even in English and it's hard to read. Got some seed carts, telehandlers. We've even got a grater, a little grater. Here we are at the livestock section. They've got cows and horses here. So we're going to go in and have a look. You can see it's a very well attended event. Uh, 
and you can actually tell I mean I might be a little bit biased here but but you can just tell country people and they're just a different breed and I like them uh, you, you know it's a little bit different to a field day in Australia or not that much different other than they speak a different language uh, there's some slightly different farming practices but um, on the whole it's, uh, it's a really fun environment fun day you can see here behind me a, uh, a get up for a dairy uh, they really um, it's actually short they don't make enough milk here for the needs they have Russians love milk and milk products and actually import a lot of stuff from countries like Belarus and other countries but uh, there's, there's a big push towards to get dairy farmers to come and there's all sorts of robotic dairies and all sorts of information for uh, not information but technology to to start up a fully robotic a uh, dairy and the government has uh, specific funding for it so to all our dairy farmers who live somewhere else if you're looking for a new opportunity somewhere maybe Russia's the place for you Like that? The sign on the other side is really cool. It says, uh, have a look, study it, remember how to do it, and then go do it yourself. But if you don't want to do it yourself, or you don't know how, call us and buy one. <laughs> That's very clever. I don't think anybody did it themselves would make it so ornate. That's it. Haven't seen this type of drone before. It's a plane cross drone. I presume it's made for long flights so you can fly out just in the plane setting and then when you need to hover they just switch the drone blades on and this can, this can hover in the air. Quite an interesting concept. So they even have a saw here that deals in power and hooking up your farm to power. Not just farming here, they've got building companies as well. We bring their displays, different things they've got going on. Industrial vacuums, different plants they've got building. It's a really big event with lots of different uh, industries being represented here. 
As you can see guys, it is quite windy today. A lot of the uh, stalls are having problems with their stands. As you can see this one's blowing right into the tractor. Some of them have also uh, blown over and broken, so it's quite breezy. Here we have some big cedars, big setups. more cultivators. Hey, Rank. Hey, Rank. <laughs> That's how you fit as many loaders into one spot as possible. Do you have any impressions of the show so far? It was a lot bigger than the other normal shows. I mean, you, you said that already. Um, the, the, I'm not sure whether it's the group that does the, the people who support it, like facilitate it, but it's yeah, it's a good balance of um, different companies, technology, um, equipment, food. It's very nicely put together. Very and wide array of things here. Yes, well, for everybody. So what, what, was here, what was here? What was here for you then? If there's something um, for everybody. Okay, well the free kielbasa and free ice cream, that was really cool. Um, free ice cream, yep. The free ice cream for kielbasa. Uh, what else was here that was really cool? Oh, because we get a lot of subscribers saying that for you girls it's very boring coming to these shows. Well, it's to me it's not so boring because having lived on a farm, when I see it, okay, not all the equipment, but I, when I see some of the equipment, I, I know what it's used for, I know how we could use it. But it is interesting to learn more about just what's actually out here and what's available and going, Dad, what's this funky machine do? Um, that's interesting too. This is a brand we haven't seen before. I'd say it's a uh, Chinese brand. Let's have a look at this on the cab. Well, guys, it's a it's a pretty plush cab they have in here. Wood grain, well, not wood grain, but fake wood grain. A fake wood grain interior. It's generally for, I mean, some of the, the Chinese tractors have generally a more basic cab design, but this one actually has some pretty flash ones. It's got all your, got all your functions. PDOs, rear controls, not bad. But like I said, never heard of this brand. This is called, they call it Atlas. And then Atari's, that, that might be the big one. That's a 220 horse. So obviously this is, the one I'm in is a 130 horse and that one over there is a 90 horsepower uh, tractor. It's actually quite handy to film in this little cab because the amount of the wind, the wind's uh, really strong. So you're getting a lot of wind noise for our audio. But, but it's a pretty flash looking tractor, whether or not it's, uh, translates into reliability it's a different story quite an interesting little cement mixer probably good for small spaces tip it up in and water well there's a shoot line because you're going to oh the shoot lines up but that's not very accurate uh, not too bad, two up the old block, but not too bad. Missed a few points. 
I wonder if they call this the gator or the crocodile. Probably the gator because it's little. All sorts of grain storage, handling facilities, whatever you need, it's all here. Most of it's made locally. I was talking with uh, Joe before and we are just discussing that. Uh, I mean, there are some of the Sentinel one of our brands, New Holland, Crohn's here, Classes here, uh, but a lot of the other companies which have pulled out, which has really opened the door for a lot of the Chinese companies to come in and get a foothold. And it's, it's interesting because you can also see, even in the car market here, because of sanctions, the Chinese cars just taking over. And I don't think that the other companies will be able to get back in. There just won't be a market share for them anymore. So it's really interesting to see the uh, all the this this the, the sanctions are giving not only local companies but also some of the Chinese companies a, a really good opportunity to get into and take and take a position in the market that I don't know that the others will get back. Obviously, they're 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 cost effective. I mean. Some of the, the, the bigger well-known brands might have more bells and whistles on them, but uh, as far as quality controls, especially on the stuff I've seen made here with the big uh, cedars and combines and harvesters, it'll certainly do the job. So very interesting to see how the market, the, the Russian agriculture market is growing quickly and the government's putting a lot of uh, money and programs together to, to create opportunities for farmers. So. Just interesting as we walk around the, the field day to see exactly what is available. It's been, a, it's been really good to come and see. Here they have all equipment for grain silos and grain moving and storage. As you can see, there's a big hopper that they've got in half here so you can see what it looks like on the outside and the inside. Even here you can see they've got on display some of the what it will look like fully done. Obviously, this stuff is way too big to have here set up. I actually worked in Australia for a couple of seasons in a big grain uh, grain storage place where they would collect it from all the farmers and then ship it overseas. Interesting work. Alright, we just had a nice talk with the people at that stall. But as you can see, there is a big front coming in. Uh, so I don't know how long it's going to be before we get rain. But thankfully, we got here early enough so that it's not raining. As you can see, lots of troubles with stalls and the wind. But yeah, it's certainly uh, exciting weather. That is cute! Wow! It's like a baby one. It made one my size! It did! Good. It's right the fit. Yeah, that, that, that is cute. Sabrina will fit. Cute. And if you want to milk reindeer, you can. You'd want a low stall though. <laughs> so, the rain started to come. It's not too heavy at the moment, but. It's a bit heavy. Nothing too scary. It's clean. It's keeping the dust down. Here we have Kamaz. This is like the Russian staple. You see these trucks everywhere. Oh. Live Neva? Yeah. Maybe it's time to tell the Sequoia and buy a... Upgrade. Upgrade. 
Oh, let's see how much room there is. Oh, once you get in, there's a little bit of room. Once you get your knees past the steering wheel. Look at that. Yeah. It's even got stereo. Stereo. Cup holders if you got a little drink. The question I have is how do you wind the window down? Does it have a button inside? Yeah, here. Ah. Electric windows. And electric mirrors. All the bells and whistles. And, and seat warmers. It's just. Just get your legs out, it's a tricky bit. Maybe it's easier to get further back. Uh, you wouldn't want to be too much bigger. So this is the uh, Kamaz, the inside of the Kamaz truck. And uh, there's all your controls, plenty of room. The legendary Kamaz. Top for storage space. And the legendary orange yeah, color. Size. Yeah, much more my size, this one. A bit bigger than the than the ladder. I always fit under the door. <laughs> Almost. Agro Apollo. Another brand I haven't seen before. Obviously, the crone bailers we've seen before. Uh, Deutz. So, still got some Deutz equipment here. I don't know if they're still selling here or whether they're just, whether it's old stock or whether they've, like a lot of companies, they they uh, end up bringing their products into another country. Oh, Eco Neva. Haha, <laughs> we've been looking for Eco Neva. Louis Gong, they're bringing in. Oops, it's gonna rain. <laughs> a little bit of protection from the rain. So guys, we were just in this Eco Neva tent. Uh, we talked with Dennis. If you guys might remember him from our video where we do a tour of their uh, outlet spot where they sell tractors. I'll put a link up at the top there. We had a, a really nice chat with them. All right, well, it's been a really great day here at the, uh, the field day. Uh, it's been, like I said, it's been uh, it's a much bigger field day than the other ones we've been to. It's been really good to see, uh, get a, what, a bigger range of what's available here at the farm. It's also good to just to, to see the people who are involved in agriculture here. It's a much, uh, much more vibrant, uh, much bigger community than, than the other one, the other field day we've been to. So we really enjoyed it. We've got to head out now. But uh, it's been a great day just to catch up with a few people that we've met before and also to see uh, new things that are available. Now, this has been a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Let us know your comments down below yep. if this was interesting to you. And share it with a friend if it was. Yep. Uh, share it with a few friends. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, you can do that down below. Keep up to date with all the news and adventures that we have here. Uh, we hope you guys are all having a great day. We'll catch you on the next one. See you guys. Bye. Hey, filming you, filming me. Yeah. Well, nearly lost his hat. Oh, this one escaped. Oh, escaped? Escaped, where did it go? I wonder where. How can the cow escape?